Number two, people. I'm pretty impressed. The light bar only does the sides and stuff. This, these here are very intense. You can see, it. that's the light bar going off and doing whatever and cameras never pick it up, but these, that's how, that's how intense the beam is. As it hits there, it's actually causing, I can tell you now that this light is, wait. I could have sworn that was moving. Or oh, there's someone in the passenger seat. You can't look at him. Oh man. Ooh. Yeah. I would like it if my car came back to me. Ah. Oh. Come on. Oh. There you go. They're easy to light up, easy to wire up, and uh, they are quite nice. And the voltmeter, my voltmeter, I'll turn the fan off. Okay. Not too bad, that's at idle. That's if I was going all along the highway. Anyway, go for a little drive. Not bad. Cameras really don't do it justice. It is pretty good, but the cameras just don't do it justice at all. not on the ground that's a part of the beam that hits the ground it's weird it is so weird I don't see that with my bare eyes but the camera sees it um, but the actual the beam is out there that's like the side two beams the sides of it that catch on the ground it's really weird but yeah um, that light bar is lighting up the outsides and that's it. We're, I could see pretty far down the road and that's just, that's because of those spotlights. Anyway, there you go. Um, that's part two and can't really think what else to say or do except, um, yeah, those lights, if you're about to pay t nearly $300 for them, they're not bad. They really are pretty good. So, yeah, you are safe to buy them. Don't worry. All right, see you on the uh, next one, I suppose.